they're all, you know, maybe 60, 40 fights at most. I don't think there's anything beyond that, but it could be worse if, uh, you know, if, if Josh was his very best, I think, you know, he, he could, it could be a very one-sided fight. Pro boxing fans, we're here in Bournemouth with probably the best dressed boxer. Not, I'm not even saying in this place, but just in general, uh, Chris Willem Smith. Chris, first of all, world champion. You mustn't get bored, or you probably don't get bored when people call you that world champion status, right? Yeah, no, no. It's lovely to, um, lovely to be, you know, known as a world champion, and uh, you know, someone I look to to keep for a, for a long time. Interestingly, I've, I've spoken to uh, Jai Apataya, uh, Richie Oriakpo over the last couple of weeks, and you're you're the guy that everyone seems to be mentioning. Uh, is that a good position to be in? That do you relish being in this position that you know everyone's calling your name now? Yeah, it's nice. It saves. I'm not really that one to call people out necessarily, so it saves me a job. Um, yeah, and it makes good fights. You know, it's uh, it's a nice position to be in. It's uh, it's obviously they all they all respect you if they're calling you out. That's a that's a fact. So. Um, and uh, yeah, it makes it makes for interesting fights in the future. Um, obviously, you're not going to be looking past Masnek. I do want to talk about him. Experienced fighter. I did cover his fight when he fought Tony Belly in 2015. So it's been that long that, firstly, I've been around in the industry, and secondly, that he's been around in the industry. But experienced fighter. We know how tough he is. I, I was speaking to Shane as well. Is this a potential banana skin? He said, "Listen, Chris is going to have to be on top of his game." Is that how you how you view it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. The way he fights, his style. Um, if you look at his losses, they're close losses as well to world-level, you know, uh, monsters. In, in you look at Dorticus, 24 knockouts and 26 wins, and he took him took him to points and I think lost by a couple of rounds. So it's 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 you know neither here nor there. But um, so yeah, a hugely difficult fight. Um, but if I'm at the top of my game, it can be an easy fight. Uh, Masnek hasn't fought for over a year. I think it's been it's going to be about maybe 12 here in 12 months by the time. I'm sorry, 14 months by the time you guys are in the ring. Is there any chance of you maybe just being a bit aggressive from the start just to see where he's at? Is that is that the sort of plan going into this fight? Um, yeah, the, the plan's to be me and um, the, the best version of me always starts quick and, and where, um, you know, this is the sort of fight where I know he's going to carry the, the, the everything he has, all his attributes he carries through every round and no, the first round's not much different to the 12th. Um, he's, he's super fit, he's super conditioned, unbelievably durable, um, good at punch output, good punch power. Um, so it's just now he's going to be him and I think I'm going to be me and I think for, for, for me it's uh, about doing everything that I do best. I know you're concentrating on Sunday but there seems to be a storyline with each of the other fighters in regards to Lawrence Corey, the, the potential rematch group to react for the story blending there from your first fight um, and Jab Pataya who everyone views to be this big destructive fighter in your division out of them three guys ideally once you fight Masnek and I don't know, know you're probably not going to look that far past but in your head who's the most lucrative fight who's the fight that you want to be fighting lucrative and biggest fight uh, uh, can be different things so okay, okay. Give, I, me, give me the one that you want well I, I, I want to unify so Jab Pataya you know that's the, the, the fight and that's the one everyone's calling the number one and everyone's calling me the number two, um, so I need to carry on that on, on Sunday night, um, and that's the that's the fight I want. And it's uh, it's it's exciting, but at the same time, I love a domestic clash. So you look through my record; there's a lot of domestic clashes there, and it's great um, to and fro's in, in, in the in the boxing world, in the boxing Twitter, and boxing media. Like, who's going to win in, in um, those domestic dust ups? And everyone loves a domestic dust up in this country. There, and what makes the sport so good for for Britain? So. Um, yeah, they're, I'm not too bothered about, about who it is. I mean, I've, Richard and, and uh, Opatai are, are put, you know, definitely the, the top two names that I'd like to face. Jai could be the most lucrative if the Saudis are involved, so let's, yeah. let's not rule that one out. Um, quickly, just want to move away and just talk about a few of the things in regards to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Otto Wallin, and obviously Joseph Parker, and uh, Deontay Wilder. Do you feel like there's any banana skins in, in them two fights for, for Wilder and AJ? Yeah, for sure. You look at um, recent performances I think and you look at where they're at mentally um, and it, it, Parker looks bang on it at the moment he's looked a lot more focused and I think he sort of had a bit of a lull um, but now he looks you know back on it and very focused um, in, in the work he's doing um, both for potential banana skins it's heavyweight boxing no one thought Ruiz was a banana skin a potential banana skin so it's um, in, in this sport they're, they're all 
everyone they're all good fighters all top all four of them are very 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 good fighters um so they're all you know maybe 60 40 fights at most i don't think there's anything beyond that but it could be worse if uh you know, if, if Josh is his very best, I think, you know, he, he could, it could be a very one-sided fight. Well, Chris, uh, always a pleasure to talk to, to yourself. Good luck with your fight on Sunday night. Uh, once you get past that, and hopefully we get to talk about fights uh, maybe in Saudi, we don't know. Uh, Chris Billingsmith, smith thank you so much for giving us your time. Stop, man. Cheers, thank you.